Welcome everyone. Got our we're home stretch now. Everything's bound together. Gears are meshing. The drive is working. I did. Uh, I've tested it a couple of times. It's doing good. Um, I'm despite the frustration of the last couple of days. I really like the end result. I think this is going to be a really cool one when it's done here in hopefully a few minutes. <laughs> Maybe a little optimistic there, but that being said, let's get started on step 16 so we can wrap this one up and start on our next little project. So, need this one, this one, and this one. Those just do not like coming out of their forms. <laughs> All right. uh, and these two, I'm actually going to leave that one in the form. Yeah, because 52 gets used second. So I'm going to use to fit, take off 53 first so I don't get them confused because they look way too similar for me to <laughs> take that chance on. Then these, then four of these, five of these. One, two, three, four of these, it says. I've been pulling the wrong one. I've been pulling for 17. <laughs> so let's just set these aside and go back up a notch. <laughs> you too. Okay, so. <laughs> these. pieces here. Okay. Chip aside, sandy sander out. Toothpick. Where did my bag of tricks go? There you are. <laughs> Toothpick. No more dowels. Repeat. Anything else? Mm, yep, I will need a 57 before it's done. This one, 
like so. Pick through there, through there, through there. Okay. And what we've been doing the whole time with these, get those in there and lined up. Not flush, but they're smooth enough. There we go. Okay. Now, you like that through the middle slot. And, hmm, is there not a. Oops. Yep, I was supposed to get this piece off too. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna need two dowels. Okay. Yeah, one for the. I'm gonna have two pivots on it, right? Okay. So. One through there and one through there, which corresponds with here and here. So. Yes, do we go ahead and just. Punch the whole assembly on. Yep. And okay, then this one. up that rear one. It's a little bit tricky it looks seems. Mm -hmm. There it went. So get all the way through to here.
Yeah. Okay. Now, same thing. Tilted up, I think. Mm. Okay. okay, it's... Breaking mechanism didn't appear to be working the way I thought it was going to. Okay, so you had. Uh, oh, can't get. Oh. Okay, yeah, it's gonna. Okay, yeah. <laughs> okay, if I get. And it locks into the flywheel and docks, let it go, and it goes. Oh, sorry. <laughs> and, uh, okay, cool. Now, now it says drop this one in, lock that gate in place. All right, nice. It also appears to be giving it a little kickstart. <laughs> okay. And that was 16. So now over to 17 that I was trying to do earlier. <laughs> okay. And this appears to be pretty straightforward on these. It looks like we're just doing the last little cleanups on the... Still got that one other piece left over in the form so I don't get them mixed up. Okay. Got 53. Okay. The bottom in the middle here. Got the other pin in. over here. <laughs> Then 
52. So the wide section, that one's wider than this one, so it goes to the back and locks in with this one as it goes down. Okay. So you through there. And through there. Okay, that's going to be our hanger, I guess. If we want to put it on the wall. In place. Push you through. And what's supposed to do that from the... Ah. Oops, I'm supposed to do that from the other side, it says. So I can get both ears on the front, I think, just make it look more uniform across. Okay. I'd say that's evidently what we're supposed to use to hang it on the wall if we choose to do so. about something else. <laughs> Where'd my full-size picture go? <laughs> no, okay. I was thinking these things here. I think, yeah, I was supposed to put that. I was supposed to flip that. And that's, yeah, there should be, okay. Got the rest of them, well, Got a couple of them wrong, but okay. Do these. I'm gonna fix these one at a time because I just just noticed I goofed. <laughs> so pop this out. Mm -hmm. Nose gently. Decoration on the outside, so, and it goes, yeah, that way. And you in. If I hadn't just noticed it right there at the end, I probably wouldn't bother with this. I got that one. I'm supposed to be going the opposite direction with it. <laughs> Make it symmetrical. <laughs> This is supposed to go like that. And that in here. So we got, yeah, two, one, two. <laughs> and likewise down here, I just don't have the stripe showing. <laughs> Got excited because about done. <laughs> All right. Now everything appears to be right. <laughs> okay. So. Okay. So put our brake on. Tension across the rubber band. Oh, it, is, it has worked its way right across there. Wound up up here. And flip our switch. Oops. Yeah. 
That's satisfying. I like seeing the clock work. I like seeing the result. I like, yeah, I think this is. And brake works. <laughs> I guess I can get back up to speed. Actually, I think. Okay, yeah, there. Rubber bands going by the flywheel there. It, got, it was rubbing against the. <laughs> on the bottom, it was rubbing against that little wooden piece. Alright. Yeah, this is. Yeah, that's and if you need to encourage it, you can give it a little spin with the key. <laughs> All right, yeah. I like that. <laughs> that's the clockwork parts the stuff I really enjoy as far as even the, just the marble runs and stuff. I think those are it's satisfying to watch that in motion. Speed her up a little bit. <laughs> yeah. It appears down here this wooden piece is seems to be catching on these so I might replace that with something a little more low profile, like a little metal hook or something that's more... <laughs> of course, you know, I just, I say, give it a spin, work that flywheel up and it goes for a little bit by itself, without, even without the tension. <laughs> All right. I like it. I, I am satisfied with these results, folks. I think this is cool. Frustrating build getting everything lined up, but once you get it in the cage, I think it's well worth it. I think that's a I say And it's you know, that's gonna get I think I'm gonna give that a place of prominence in my actual house rather than put it in storage uh, You know, I think that that's a satisfying to see that swirly thing going over here <laughs> so Now we made it that far. <clears throat> it was a shorter one. So let's do a preview of the next build, I told you all yesterday, is going to be another marble run. It's, I've never, even this company doesn't, identify, it's not just sort of generic. It doesn't, there's no name brand on it or anything. It's just, you know, it appears to be a standard marble run. It's a little more, got ornate patterns into it and break away from the city of the demons. <laughs> so it's a, uh, <clears throat> but it doesn't look... It looks like, you know, honestly, it looks like a rocker marble run where they put more, you know, ornate details onto it. It's, uh, like, no brand name or anything anywhere on it. You know, manufacturer, I'm not even going to try but to pronounce that in Chinese. <laughs> uh, but, uh, but, you know, we'll dig into that tomorrow and find out. And like I say, it doesn't... It appears to be a standard, you know, it's got the tracks, got the drop-through chutes here, got the, the selector, got the track, got, that's the, the curved tracks right through there appear to be a little different, got the stair stepper, yeah, no, this is, you know, different from what I normally, one of the ones I've normally done, so I, I'm, I don't know if I have low expectations, but I don't think it's going to be anything super thrilling different from what was doing before but i've got i got some good stuff in the hopper after this one too but anyway like i said that was a short one thanks for watching everybody like subscribe comment complain share do whatever you want to with all of that be good to one another stay safe and i'll see you next time bye please hang up and try again